Hey guys, CJ here, PBX How To's. Today, talk to you about class of restriction. Now, this is a very important one because this pretty much is like your firewall for a phone system. All right, so be extremely careful. Here's a little disclaimer uh, be careful changing your class of restrictions in a live system. Uh, as everything that needs to do something relies upon a class of restriction, also known as a core, because I refer to core quite a bit. So, um, the basic definition of class of restriction, it defines different levels of call origination and termination privileges. Uh, you can apply administration settings to all objects that share the same core number. Identify what cores are, basically allowing people to service observe or can be a service observer. Uh, listening on calls is what that means. Um, the items that, that you'll find cores used a lot against, telephones obviously, uh, agent IDs, trunks, data modules, uh, things like that. So again, this, is, this allows you to make and take different types of calls between different types of objects, whether they're the outside public switch telephone network, PSTN, or SIP trunks, session initiation protocol. <laughs> All right, I'll get off that track. Uh, but you get my point. Um, you can, you, you basically, and there's four pages, and I'm in an R12, but there's four, t four pages to a core. There's calling permission, service observing permissions, the main form of the class restriction form, <laughs> and some other stuff. Uh, but the, the key things that you want to, you want to, you want to investigate or you want to check, you know, read the documentation on, um, the, the restrictions, the, all the calling party restrictions, called party restrictions, the uh, the um, the FRLs, which are the facility restriction levels, things like that. Um, but just just check the documentation, specifically the uh, I think it's the um, implementation something. I don't remember the name of it, but it's it's in the documentation for uh, implementation. And in fact, the document is the Avaya Communication Manager feature description and implementation. And just go. Get on the class of restriction part of it, and you can read to your heart's content what this does. All right, so enough of that. Uh, the items I want to talk about specifically in here is, let me just do this, core one. Um, we're going to say this, basic restricted. And the FRL, facil facility restriction levels. Um, Again, I'm not going to explain it here in this basic, but I'll try to explain it in a more advanced video. But the FRL has, has different numbers that you can assign to allow the types of calls that can be made. Again, like a firewall, allows you to do certain things. This is the traffic cop and says, okay, you can do this, you can call this, you can go call this, and so on and so forth. All right, next few things can be uh, service observed and can be a service observer. The differences here are a can be a service can be service observed, meaning anything that has this core can be listened to by someone who can have the ability to be a service observer, um, which segues into the next one, can be a service observer. This is typically uh, slated for supervisors, managers, you know, bosses, things like that, who want to be able to listen in on calls uh, of their employees making, you know, call center calls, things like that. So you don't typically see a yes on both of these in one core because one's going to be yes, the other's going to be no, and vice versa in the other one. Time of day, this allows you basically to say, you know, when is this core active, uh, things like that. But again, look up the documentation for detailed information on this. But um, in future videos, I will refer to specific items in a core when I'm working on that item. So just keep that in the back of your mind. Uh, let's see some other things. Hear music on hold. This is a great one. Let's say you're on a service desk or you're dealing with engineers. Um, I turn this off for my engineers due to the fact that they put people on hold for some time and or they need to jump off and on calls during conference calls. Well, if you put the call on hold, everybody's going to hear music on hold, and we all know what happens when that happens. It's very annoying, and you want to go kick the guy's butt who puts you on hold because now everybody hears music and can't hear the people talking. So I turn this off. I've never had music on hold for any phone I've ever had because it annoys me. All right, so <clears throat> up to these two, these two right here. 
Calling party restrictions. Calling party restrictions, this, again, defines the privileges for telephones to make outbound calls. Uh, if you don't want to restrict a phone, you set this to none. So, essentially, this says users cannot call the outside network, okay? Or they can't call anything uh, going the outside trunks. They'll get denied if this sets to outward. So, if you want these people to make calls, you set it to none. Same for called party restrictions, okay? Uh, that allows you to do that. Direct agent calling, that's for some call center stuff. I'll talk about that later. Uh, can be picked up. Uh, blah, blah. I'll talk about those later. Ooh, what was that one? Oh, yeah, can change coverage. This is if you have multiple coverage pass. Again, I'll talk about that in a different one, more advanced. Um, remote logout of agent. I'll talk about this in the call center pieces or call center portions of my videos, but this allows supervisors to remote log out agents because if they forget to log out and their phones keep ringing and rona and all that good stuff so uh here's here's what's something that can get you in trouble if you look these pages look pretty much the same right the only difference is on page three it's calling permission in page four it's service observing permissions now i've barked at avaya for a long time about this i'm like you guys really need to change this and i know it's simple but <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I've gotten pe or people have come to me and said, oh, I've really screwed up because they've changed calling permissions, which, okay, let me put it this way. Let's say you have a trunk and the trunk's core is 42, right? And all your phones are core 34. Well, if I change these to no or one of these to no, that trunk is not going to be able to send calls anywhere because it can't send the calls to the phones who are intended to. I know that's a very general description, but be extremely careful on this page. Calling permissions will get you in trouble because you're basically turning off their access to call another core. So uh, I, you should usually see, and I say usually, in every instance, you should see yeses on every one of these cores, unless you are completely trying to segregate out some phones from a different trunk or a different area. Let's say you have two groups of people who you don't want calling each other because they get in fights. <laughs> like that happens, right? Um, but you can set it here. So just be very careful on this page. This page, like I said, looks identical, but it's not. This is service observing permissions. Very, very innocent. Uh, you can go change these and they really won't have any effect on anything except for supervisors or managers or bosses trying to listen in on calls on another core. So just, just remember when you're on these pages, and if you're in a 5.2 or 6.0, there's like, a bunch of pages there's like no well it goes up to 995 and uh you, you can just imagine how many pages that is and the last page the very last one is service observing so just be careful when you're on these pages all right so um that is the basics of class of restrictions again refer to the documentation when you're messing with class of restrictions and class of service which we'll talk about next um but i will talk about each parts of these cores throughout my videos because each one does something different for call centers, for hunt groups, for whatever. And, uh, you know, check those out. So, again, guys, I appreciate you watching. I, I, I'm loving the comments. I'm loving the likes. You guys are subscribing. Keep it up. I love it. It makes me want to keep doing more of these, which I will do. And uh, I'll see you guys later. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.